Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Joelster. Welcome back to another video. And this time, I'm still working on the Samsung. This is a brand new Samsung Q6 FN 2018 edition with Quantum Dot 4K HDR. And uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome. I've been doing a lot of uh, videos about this TV. I'm doing comparisons, showing off my gaming settings with the Xbox, with the gaming features. And this time I want to show you the settings that I'm using when I watch movies. Now this can work when you watch movies like stream, if you're streaming movies with Vudu or Netflix, or if you also want to watch movies on your 4K Blu-ray player, or on the Xbox One X, it's up to you. This is our, these settings are going to be general for what I use, right? This time I am testing this movie, the uh, Infinity, Infinity War, Avengers Infinity War. So I hope you enjoy the introduction. I think the, this is one of my favorite movies. So first we're gonna go into the menu, right here, the menu settings of the TV. We're gonna go into the left. We're gonna see the settings. As you guys notice, I'm using the movie picture mode. All right, and this movie, when, once you get in here, you notice that it says HDR. That's pretty much how you can get that information when you are streaming a movie. In this case, I'm using Vudu. I like to purchase my movies through Vudu. I like it a lot. All right, so we're gonna go into the expert settings, okay? And then we're gonna go into the settings. So basically, in general, I use movie because movies are, uh, movie setting is the one that has the most accurate colors. So right here in the backlight, I have it all the way up to 50, brightness zero or pretty much in between, in the middle. Contrast 50, sharpness zero. Um, I have this sharpness on zero because, you know, this is a really good uh, 4K. Well, even though this movie, I think it was recorded in 2K and then upscale to 4K something like that but the movie looks really really nice really nice and sharp so usually i don't add sharpness in here color is at 25 and i think looks good as well digital clean view is an auto auto motion plus these are uh the auto motion plus settings and i have this in custom blur reduction is at 10 and judder reduction is at 3 that way you don't have that a lot of that soap opera effect Local dimming, I have this one on high. Local uh, contrast enhancer, I have this one in low. You can turn this off if you want to, but you notice how the movie overall, the picture gets really dim. And if you go to the highest level, then you get a lot of, you lose a lot of details in the colors, especially in the contrast. Um, you lose a lot of uh, black levels of details. So I don't know, in my opinion, I think low is the sweet spot in a contrast enhancer but uh, you can play around with that. Now, color tone, usually for movies, color tone is suggested to get to go into the uh, warm too. But uh, I'll be honest with you guys, I think it's just too much jello intro introduced in this uh, color tone. So I do like it, but not as much. So that's why warm one for movies, I think it looks really good in my opinion. And then over here, color space. This is HDR, so it's always suggested to use native uh, auto in the color space colors are a little bit more uh, accurate when you use auto in the color space so that is the one that i'm using and that's it that's pretty much the settings that i'm using in this tv i love samsung i love the way this they make this so easy to use so uh, intuitive you know there's nothing that you can go wrong with this pretty much the settings are very useful you can get into more settings like the gamma change the gamma and everything but overall the settings have worked for me very well so if you like to try them you're welcome but i always recommend and i'm always saying that try the settings that work best for you so in this case for example this movie uh, there there's a lot of dark scenes in this movie the avengers and uh, i think black levels on this tv are amazing the really, really good, the Quantum Dot does a really good job with the contrast and the colors. It's just beautiful the way this TV looks for an HLED TV. This is an HLED TV and HLED TVs, usually the local dimming is not that good as compared to a full array with local dimming TV like the, the uh, TCL R6 or the Sony X100F. Those TVs have incredible black levels 
because of the local dimming and the full array. But this TV is not bad. I mean, for a TV that is edge lit, that is um, 55 inch, and it costs $1,100, this is not a bad uh, TV for being a budget quantum dot because this is basically the budget quantum dot TVs from Samsung from this year. So now, now let's jump into a comparison between this TV and my KS8000, which is another great 4K HDR quantum dot TV, but from 2016. So let's see how they perform. All right, so before we move into the comparison, I'm gonna show you the settings that I'm using on the KS for the movie settings. So we're gonna go into the menu, and then right here we're gonna go into the settings, of course. Picture mode is going to be in movie. Like I said, movie set, movie is always going to be, is going to have the best color accuracy, more natural colors for movies, so that's the one that I always choose when watching a movie. So over here, the backlight is gonna be 20, brightness 45. As you notice, the values are almost very similar to the ones of the Q6. The They change a little bit because they just, that's how Samsung changed them, but they're pretty much the same on the same values. So Auto Motion Plus is gonna be custom. It's going to have the blur reduction to 10 and the judder reduction to three. That's how I like it. If you guys wanna try that, Smart LED or Local Deeming, this is gonna be on high. Now over here, dynamic contrast is gonna be on low. Although on this TV, I noticed that if you put it on high, you're gonna get the most brightness. Uh, you're going to lose some of the, uh, some black levels. So they're gonna be a little washed out. But if you want, you can turn it off or low. I recommend low because otherwise on, on off, it looks very dim. I don't know if you guys can notice the difference, but uh, Honestly, on the KS, high dynamic contrast looks really good, but in this case, I'm gonna put it into low, same as the Q6, all right? Color tone is gonna be on warm one, and then over here on the color space, it's gonna be in auto. These are the almost very similar settings, and the reason being is because these are very similar TVs. Both of them are 4K HDR, both of them have quantum dot, and uh, all right, so let's do this. Now the first thing I noticed when I put this TV side by side is that even though after I changed the settings on the KS, I tried to make them very similar to the Q6, I still feel that the Q6 has better colors, it has a better contrast, the black levels are better on the Q6. It's just, you know, it, it's just an, I feel like it's a good upgrade from the KS, coming from the KS up to the new, uh, the new QLEDs. And at the same time, if you don't wanna, you know, sp spend so much money in the Q8 or the Q9, which are obviously probably even better black levels because they're full array with local dimming TVs with uh, much, a lot better dimming zones than the KS. But the price also, it increases a lot. So if you don't wanna break your wallet, I think the Q6 is a very good upgrade or the Q7, but still the Q7, you're gonna spend $500 on top than the price from the Q6. So I think it's a great upgrade in my opinion.